because there's nothing like a tiger skin on a winter's morning to keep you nice and safe. Safe from the elements, safe from intruders. Tiger skins, your number one rug. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Plutocracy. Yes, that's right. We're back in our wonderful office on a beautiful August uh, morning, afternoon, who knows. <laughs> um, and we are playing challenge mode. That's that's uh, the, the Rockefeller challenge. Now, we're uh, a couple of episodes in. At the moment, we have amassed uh, probably about a quarter of what we need to in terms of wealth uh, and we have 3.09% uh, of all of the oil production within the USA. Uh, currently monopolies have not been uh, outlawed or restricted uh, so we don't have to do anything about that yet. <laughs> we will have to do something about it at some point but not quite now. So. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, money coming in. We don't have any on us uh, right now. So we're, first thing I'm going to do is just zoom to the next quarter. Uh, and then I guess we'll go from there. We have some... Oh, we have some strikes going on as well. Oh, we prevented them. How great. Let's, uh, let's get some cash and then let's continue our chapter. Well, would you look at that. The beginning of our next uh, turn and we get wealth top rating. One of one. I guess that means that we're now uh, the top rated person in the country and there you go. John Stonefaller, Pennsylvania, 311 mil in wealth um, with 6.81 mil in profit every quarter. So yeah, we, we're doing pretty darn well with ourselves. I don't think we're the, uh, are we the, we're probably not the most profitable. Let's have a look. Let's see who's doing better than us. Oh, nobody. <laughs> it's close, but nobody is doing quite as well as us. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can continue this lead and become a billionaire in no time at all. Uh, we do have an extra star to spend now. Um, economics and diplomacy are both up pretty, pretty darn high. Well, I think, yeah, we, we've only got one option in planning. Um, I'm going to avoid that for now. I'll keep hold of the star and we can come back to it and spend it at a later date. For now, we've got 6.7 mil in the bank, just burning a hole in my pockets. Is um, that's a little reference there if you don't know it. Uh, right. So last time we we did some shenanigans with Cyclusians, and uh, we 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 stole a bunch of shares off them at a very reasonable price, <laughs> a very very reasonable price. Um, both personally and as an organisation. So that's something to bear in mind. We still need to buy out uh, Conlux Inc. Uh, as uh, as a company. Uh, we, we, we already have Morgan Brothers. But I would like to get both of the transport companies underneath the um, umbrella of Stonefaller PA1. Or Stonefaller Trust PA1. So that's something to try. Let's have a look at how... Oh, let's first let's have a look at how much money we've got in Stonefaller Trust, hey? Uh, okay, so we've got eight mil in reserve, so not amazing. It would be nice if we did have a bit more, a bit more cash there. We it looks like our research is still doing okay. What's impacting income at the moment? Expenses? Anything down? Logistics is down because of our our work that we're doing um, so that's good I wonder how you actually change the CEO salary I actually don't know that um, but it would be nice to increase my own wages random candidate choose a new one use an agent change your reputation no okay can we is nowhere in this screen. No, I don't know. Uh, change CEO. Development. Subsidies. Lending. I don't think there's anywhere here that says increase the salary of the CEO. Is it in here somewhere? Uh, 
No, I don't think so. Oh well. Okay, okay. So we've got eight mil to spend on Conlux Inc. Uh, from a company perspective. So I'm gonna um, have a look and see who I could buy from here. I think the company is doing all right. It's got plenty of cash in reserve there, at least. So let's uh, let's have a look at the price and see who will sell us shares for the cheapest. Uh, going for calm people is really good because you can mess them around a bit and nothing bad happens. And we are of course going to buy uh, as uh, the, the the trust. Um, for a company, we'll just try and get as many as we can, and we'll just uh, we'll just try and do our darndest to negotiate and get a good price. I think this is actually a really fair price, so I'm going to agree to that without any hesitation. Fantastic, and um, we've made another deal. Takes us up to forty nine point two percent of the company. We have failed a deal, but luckily it was with a calm person, so nothing to worry about there. And we've just got another below market price deal. Okay, so that's all of our cash gone as uh, our company uh, for this round. We're going to go after Gonzalez and Partners next through our personal accounting. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and get as many shares uh, here as I can. Okay, and that's another deal made. Okay, okay, we're going to buy a taste of liberty. Some liberation cigars. In fact, I think we're definitely going to be the only ones who... Uh, who have the cash to pay for it as the wealthiest person in the country. Okay, more money in the bank and we're back to dealing with Gonzalez and partners. So uh, yeah, I'm buying these ones on behalf of myself rather than on behalf of the company. And we're just gonna hope for the best here. I might insist with this guy. Um, that's just below. Let's just see if we can compromise. Hopefully, Okay, well, it's just below market price. We'll take that. It's not bad. So we're now at 14%. And our second uh, lot of shares take us to 17.6%. Oh, it looks like we're attending a charity event or a charity evening in support of the poor. Organised in high society by local patron Ryan Harris, who I have no idea who he is. Who is he? He's an investor in Pennsylvania. Uh, we've been contacted about making a donation. Well... I believe in charity, and I would like to give a very long, complicated speech as to why I believe in charity. And it worked! <laughs> okay, okay, it looks like the, our employees are looking to uh, to strike. Um, I'm going to see if we can use the pianist to uh, to actually prevent the strike. So let's, uh, let's see if that works, and we have a good chance. And it has! So we've announced that a day off of well, you have announced a fest you have announced a day off and a festive concert. There you go, Reduce, rejoicing, rejoicing in free time and an uh, eminent pianist. Amazing. Preventing strikes are great. We're gonna try and buy some cognac because why not? We're almost there. I may as well put a bid in. <laughs> almost forgot that, and we have the collector achievement. Which is, it's amazing that this is our first collection of the game, but not to worry, we'll get there. Oh, we do have, oh, we have another antiquity here. I may as well try and buy this watch, it'll keep me on time. Come on, you, you don't want it. Yes, there we go. Below asking price, two. Oh, and, hello, there is a a katana so let's buy the katana i'm on a spending spree people and i mean normally i spend thousands on shares but now it's katanas or oh, fumbling is striking apparently they should have a lot of money in the bank though they are a bank for a start but yeah they've got plenty in the bank so they should definitely uh definitely survive so nothing to worry about there Ooh. Hello. Who's this? Reed, Reed and Partners. Are they new? They're quite small. Have they had a, a problem? Let's go. 
I think they might be new. That's interesting. That's good. Let's uh, let's try and buy this, these shares. I think we'll be able to do this without any issues. And another deal done. Taking us to 39%. One of our CEOs wants a higher salary and looks like we're giving it to them. That's another deal done. Taking us to 77%. And our final deal, taking us to 100% of Readem Partners. Okay, so let's have a look at Readem Partners and see how they're doing. Uh, we can up the number of workers to 17. There is a small amount in reserve, so I'll, I'll take this down to 20%. It won't really uh, make any difference to us. I will up the work plan though. And can we nudge this over? We could pay people a bit more. So we are asking them to work more. But I'll just take that up. I think that there, 947, is the optimum worker rate for us. There we go. Strike risk is quite low. Turnover isn't bad. And we do have uh, our guy here, our manager. Let's see what the... Biggest expense is logistics, uh, maintenance. No, just logistics. And yeah, that that is that's that one. So let's let's pop him into logistics, and see if we can improve that at all. And while we're at it, we want to uh, join the trust. So yeah, member of the trust, Stonefaller Trust, PA five. And we will also jump on into the good old cartel. And that should do a good job for us. Yeah, we're take, taking us right up to 1.1 mil. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, and another, <laughs> another oil company under our belt. Let's take another look at uh, Conlux Inc. And try and buy this transport company. Uh, we are trying to get the monopoly on transport in this uh, state. And we're trying to do it for the company. Uh, we've made a good deal there, so that's a, a nice 59% we now control. And that's up to 65.6%. The quarter ticked over, so we've got a bit more cash, and that means we're going to buy a tiger skin. Because there's nothing like a tiger skin on a winter's morning to keep you nice and safe. Safe from the elements, safe from intruders. Tiger skins, your number one rug. Oh, and look at that, that's a good deal from the congressman here. At Conlux, that takes us up to 76.6%. 20% of the shares here are in the stock exchange, so maybe we'll be able to do a buyback of shares. Um, wouldn't be a bad shout. Let's have a look at... Uh, yeah, let's have a look and see how much money we've got in Stonefall or 1 anyway. That would be for issuing of shares, but I just want to check. 16 mil, all good. Pretty... Yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's go to Conlux. We'll go to stats and we'll go to not stats. We'll go to management. We'll go to issue buyback shares, and we will try and buy back uh, the shares in the stock market. Uh, oh, how many? This this is what I needed to check. Thirty six mil in company reserves at the minute. We could try and buy back all of those, or that much of them. We could just try and buy some more ourselves. But there has been a big jump in the ask price uh, recently. Yeah, we're looking at company shares. Yeah, there's been a big jump in the ask price. Um, probably because of us <laughs> buying those shares. Um, I would like to acquire them, but I think doing a buyback is probably the way to do it. So let's have a look at that. We'll do this one. We'll just see what's left afterwards. So she's going to vote against it, but I can influence her to vote for it. Not that I needed her help, but it prevents her from being angry. And we'll finish that and we'll see what's happened there so Conlux Inc and 
yeah, it's taken the stock exchange down to 7.71%. And there has been a big uh, drop in the uh, ask price, which is pretty good. So I will buy, buy some shares back if I can. What's the company coffers looking like now? Oh, uh, forty-three dollars. <laughs> think, yeah, okay. I'll have to wait for the quarter to end, and then we can, uh, then we can buy more shares. If you thought a, a lion skin or tiger skin was good, how about a bear skin? <laughs> a polar bear skin specifically. Um, what a wretched thing. <laughs> yeah, tiger skin. Polar bear skin, boar head. We've, uh, that's the holy trinity of uh, animal bits right there. Okay, okay, so we only have a small amount left to buy off of the actual investor here. So we'll try and do that. And then we've just got some shares that we need to try and mop up. Um, we'll maybe insist on the price here and hopefully we get a better deal. And then that'll be a compromise. I think, uh, Ah, oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I think we might not do it, but we have an agreement. So now there's only 5% of the shares left, and they are on the stock exchange, or 4.12%. They're going to be a, bit, be a bit harder to buy, I think. Um, well, let's see what we can do here. We might have to just uh, wait a couple of days. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, there's our plutocrat achievement worth 500 mil. I want that to be on single day progression there. Because I just want to be able to like buy a couple of shares and then move on. Uh, yes, we'll increase workspaces. Sounds good to me. Um, just waiting for that share price to fall a little bit. So we can continue to buy, but not on too high a price. There we go. A bit more. That's fine. So I think, is that, is that it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we now have 100% of uh, Conlux Inc. So uh, a fair amount going into reserve, even with the dividend at 80%, which is great. We can up that work plan straight away. We'll take that up to 200%. Very good indeed. Uh, workers will max out. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's just have a look at that worker rate. We can take that up a little. Right, clicking express here. Whoa. There we go. 3.5, I think, was the top of it. 2.2, 2.9. Yeah, so I think that is good. Uh, yeah. And then we could probably... Now that we've got two... Uh, train stations or, or rail not train stations but um, transport companies we could probably make a, a trust ah well let's call this uh, uh, what, what is this transport trust transport oh transpo trust you know what that'll do uh, we'll call it the SF Transpo, Transpo Trust. Why not? <laughs> so we'll create that one. Uh, very good. And yeah, so that's both of our both of our transport companies in the uh, in the trust, and we can also probably jump them into our cartel, which is very close actually to uh, to having some exposure risk. But that also does a great job at increasing the amount of cash that the company makes. Um, so all in all, very good. Um, I'm also going to click continue expansion automatically, um, which is lovely. Uh, and look at that, big jump in the old, uh, big jump in the old price now. And uh, yeah, if we have a look at the company's list now. So yeah, we, we, we're doing well. Uh, Stonefall Trust PA1, now a very, very big company, market cap-wise, doing extremely well. Um, we've still got quite a few oil companies just in this state to take on before we can move on to other states. 
uh, but I, I think I should try and consolidate the banks as well. So we we have started buying into cyclo cyclolutions. Can I change the name of this? I don't have enough uh, enough shares yet. I want to buy enough shares so I could change the name because <laughs> I don't like the name. Um, but who's the cheapest with a high share? Oh, they've all got really rubbishy low shares. Um, okay. Well, that's no good. Let's go up. I'll just work my way down the list and I'll come back to you. We have a failure. See if we make an enemy. Uh, we got off there scot free. Very good deal with this guy. Another deal made. And another one. And another. And another. And another. Back to the auction house for us. We're going to try and purchase the last days of Pompeii. And it looks like a success. Okay, okay, yeah, another quarter ends and we're up to uh, 8.11 mil on October the 1st, 1876. We've, uh, we've put a couple more shares into Gonzalez and Partners, so we're up to 49% of them at the moment. We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, Stonefaller Trust uh, 1 is just uh, putting away all of the cash into the reserves right now. Which would be really good when we start uh, start muscling our, around and start buying out other stuff with uh, with that company. But for now, uh, we're just going to continue using our personal funds. Once we finish dealing with Gonzalez and partners, we'll move on to Wizard Inc. Uh, my aim is to get 100% of this state and then move on. So, uh, wish me luck. So, annoyingly, we have had to pay for extra security. Luckily, it does increase our renown each quarter, but it also massively increases our, increases, increases our maintenance, which isn't so fun. So, um, yeah, maybe we need to uh, do something about our uh, our maintenance costs. I don't know if, we, yeah, we've done uh, we've done everything we can, but it's really starting to eat into our uh, into our overall profits here. Four point two two mil just on maintenance. And uh, would you look at that? <laughs> um, it looks like we've just been given a, a victory condition here. Um, and it looks like we have completed the quest somehow. Um, yeah, it looks like we, we did reach a fortune of 1 billion by 1897. Uh, it, we've also managed to complete this thing here of having the federal law and the restriction of activities of monopolies uh, being repelled. Because uh, it currently is. Um but yeah, this this means that we are a billionaire, which is which is kind of cool, I suppose. So um, yeah, I I think this is this is a this is a win. So I think this is it. I think we've won the challenge. We 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 haven't done this bit here. Um, interestingly, if you if you jump back and have a look at episode one, these uh, these two quests here were listed as side quests. Whereas now they're listed as main quests. Uh, but even so, it's given us a victory screen. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. It looks like it looks like we've done it. So, uh, yeah, we are we are a billionaire, I suppose. <laughs> let's uh, let's check that out. So, yeah, we we've become America's first billionaire. Amazing. We have followed in the path of Rockefeller and. Uh, as John Stonefaller, we have become a billionaire. Uh, let's have a look at our uh, state of play here. So interestingly enough, we actually never left uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> we stayed in Pennsylvania for the entire game. And we've just turtled in and tried to buy out as much as we can within the one state. So really monopolizing on this one state. My strategy from there would be to then branch out into other states and then start buying up um, uh, companies in those uh, states around me or, or anywhere really uh, and then adding them into the cartel. So that would have been the plan. Uh, but it looks like, looks like maybe that's something we don't have to do. I might press ahead and uh, and try and try and increase my share of the... Uh, of the market 
So we've got 6.37% of uh, all of the oil production at the moment. So we've still got a fair way to go, but uh, yeah, I, I think I think we can get there eventually. It might take a bit of work, might take a lot of work, but at least we've got the uh, the cash behind us to back it up. So looking at our main company here, Stonefall to Trust PA1, which is uh, a wonderful name for a company. Um, I'm just having a look at uh, how how the state of play is. I've just increased the dividend to 50% just so that we'll get a bit more personal income. Um, but there is still 14 mil going into reserve, which is which is pretty good. Um, I, I, yeah, that's, that's not bad whatsoever. 152 mil in reserve at the moment. Um, I was looking at, well, our income here and trying to figure out, well, how do we increase the income? All right, we've, uh, we've got that going into reserve and dividends. But the actual income here goes for our revenue and production volume happens to be uh, the thing that affects that. Now one of the things that affects production volume is logistics costs, which we've already worked on and we've got max logistics uh, technology. One thing we haven't touched yet is productivity. Uh, productivity is controlled by three different things here. There's uh, hiring. <laughs> Uh, motivation and automation so I might move over it to here and try and put some development into automation uh, hopefully improving our productivity so we'll do that for a bit and we'll see how that goes uh, yeah and hopefully uh, we will start to just make a ton of money with this company um, <laughs> Which, the reason we're a billionaire really is because of this Stonefaller Trust PA1. It's doing a very good job for us, doing all of the heavy lifting right now. Um, but yeah, if we can get this company doing better for us, then uh, we'll, we'll go to new heights in no time at all. Okay, okay, we have a chance to bet at the racetrack, and you know what? Oh, yeah, let's, let's put in uh, all of our money at... Uh, on an outsider and let's just oh or maybe our horse hmm if our horse wins we will get a good payout we've got a 46 percent chance of our horse uh, coming in so let's let's do it let's let's give it a go bit of gambling uh and this is where oh, we lost <laughs> anyone want to go to auction i know i do let's see if we can get this gold plated court almost Maybe paying just a little above the odds for it, but a gun that's gold plated and look how intricate it is. I think we've made ourselves a good deal. Oh wow. Oh wow, would you look at that. <laughs> this is probably the best deal I've ever seen. Uh, we're definitely agreeing to that. That takes us up to 100% of Gonzales and Partners, which is amazing. It's another oil company under our belt. So I think there's... There's still three oil companies left in the state. Uh, once we've got all the oil companies in the state, I will uh, look to consolidate. Uh, but for now, let's uh, jump into Gonzalez and Partners. I feel a trust coming along. So we'll add them to the good old trust. And I think, or I think we can jump them into the cartel as well. Yeah, that's uh, that should be giving us uh, level two. Yeah, so we should be getting a, a good old income bonus now from uh, from that. So yeah, so, so we're getting a good amount here, 2.62, and we haven't done anything here yet with the work plan, etc. There's a good amount of money in reserve as well, so that's very nice indeed. Let's, um, now what should we do with this? Let's just uh, get the, let's get some company expansion on the go. Uh, why not? And I'll get that to continuously uh, do it. 50% um, dividend I think is absolutely fine. So we'll go from there. Also, back to the auction house. We're going to buy the girl with the pearl earring. At least we're going to try to. I think we're going to do it. There we are. A Vermeer. Nothing better. And it looks like we have the opportunity to buy a taste of plutocracy. So we're definitely going to do that. 
and for the low low price of 4.87k fantastic and look our collection is growing day by day okay it looks like there is a raiding attempt at wizard inc uh we we could try and convince them not to sell uh but we would make an enemy or we could just see if it works out so i'm gonna just i'm just gonna see if it works out because i don't like making enemies i'd like to avoid it if i can looks like we lost our our shares in wizard inc there and we've uh yeah we, we, we got our money back at least okay so we have been asked to donate to the church and we could uh, try and outbid somebody uh, for a casual amount actually just 2k which isn't a lot um, that would get us uh, extra renown but it might uh, harm our relationship with uh, Elijah Morris let's uh let's do this because 2k is not very much money um, <laughs> that's probably the lowest uh, lowest donation we've been asked for in a long time we also have the opportunity to buy Illuminati cigars, and I'm gonna gonna try and do that because why not? I do love a trip to Agatha's, and we have a success. Very good indeed. And you know what? We've just been to Agatha's, but we're gonna go again. We're gonna try and buy a silver dollar. Very good. Very very good. We just got another achievement. Cash flow generator, 25 mil out of 25 mil. Another achievement. We now have five stars uh, just waiting. And what's going on here? Uh, ooh, SF Transport PA1, he wants a proposal to develop refining. You know what? I am going to approve the initiative. I think it's a good one. We'll either get some uh, loyalty or we won't. And we did. So very good now i know you think i've got a problem but i just like agatha's all right i just need to buy all of the different collectibles all of the coins all of the everything and i uh, just remind myself to actually make a bid there um yeah below asking price as well really nice you said i'd have enough you said i've been in the auction house too many times i disagree and i'm going to prove it by buying a sniper rifle <laughs> Uh, that nothing says uh, Homeland Security like owning a personal sniper rifle. And that's exactly what I've done. So, sad times everyone. We had a, a horrible event uh, pop up. And uh, all of our staff are facing racial harassment. Uh, which means that turnover is going to be higher for the next, uh, next couple of years. Not a lot we can do about that. We tried to fight against the racists but we did not succeed sad times however we're going to continue to uh crack on we're trying to buy salary oil next we are the largest largest investor by quite some margin um, we have three different people to try and buy out we're going to go after julia king next and just see what we can do um there he has asking quite a markup though so uh but <laughs> look at that Below uh, asking price, that is uh, that's very good indeed. That takes us over the uh, 5.9, oh 59% mark, 5.9, 59% mark. So that's really good. We are definitely the controlling, uh, controlling person now. We could maybe try and go after what Seth has. I think Seth's going to be asking for a, a big markup as well. Yep, 450%. Um, it's going to take a lot of doing, but maybe not. They're giving it away. Very good, indeed. Fantastic. Well, I think uh, I think I'll have to wait for some more money before I continue. But uh, things are looking up. Okay, okay. You know I can't help it at this point, but I'm going to buy a rhino head, or at least I'm going to try and buy a rhino head. Uh, do I want a rhino head? I don't really want a rhino head. Um, but there you go we need to do it for the renown i mean you know it had to be done right we have to buy this horse um it's non-negotiable at this stage all horses will be mine okay okay we've just made our last deal with the last shareholder of uh, celery oil um 77.9 percent is what we're currently on so we have most of the most of the company now. There are 22.1% of the shares currently in the stock exchange, however. 
Um, I'm going to see how much is in reserve, and not a lot. So our dividends are set to 100. That would explain that. Let's take the dividend size right down to zero. We'll apply that uh, just so that everything goes into reserve. Um, I think also we will probably issue shares. Only up to what we can afford to pay though. So we definitely don't want to do that much. Um, let's take this down. Can I enter a share amount? I can. Let's try 2000. What does that take us? No, I can't do that. I could just press down. Okay, so we can only afford 20 mil. So let's add. 20 mil to it uh, 16 8.5 actually let's not do that let's just wait for it to build up a little um, and we could buy directly off the stock exchange as well there's no need for us to uh, only buy off of people so let's have a look at the stock exchange um, not doing too terribly right now but we can let's just make sure we're on company sh oh personal shares yeah for salary all uh, let's adjust this as well so it only shows companies that we've got shares into in have shares get rid of the bankrupt ones so the ones that have merged and uh, yeah I think I think we're probably in a good place to to buy right now we could maybe have a look at doing some manipulation again I don't know if I've got uh, no, I haven't got anybody who could do fraud at the moment. We could possibly go for a strike, but that's quite risky given that there's no money in reserve at the company. So I might just bite the bullet and just uh, buy shares. I think it'll be fine. We'll just uh, we'll just slowly do this and wait for the day uh, to pass and for the share price to recover. So I'll do this for a little while and then uh, we'll see how how many shares I get. And it looks like we actually just bought out the last of the shares here. And for a bit of a lower price uh, than we we have paid uh, for some of our shares previously, so let's have a look at that. Oh no, there uh, we didn't buy all the shares. We ran out of money. Classic error. Classic I try games error. Let's uh, let's wait then until we get a bit more cash, and then we could try and buy out this this remaining nine point nine two percent. Okay, okay, that's more cash in the bank. We should be able to do it now without any particular issues. Um, so I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and start purchasing shares here. We'll go to single day progression for it as well, and we'll just try and buy out as many shares as we can without buying without paying too much for the shares. Uh, we'll agree for that, and then. I will buy while they're a bit lower. I don't really mind paying less than 170 for them, but I let them drop down just a little. Just so that we're not wasting our money, uh, per se. So that's pretty good. We get quite a few from that. And this is a big drop, so this is very nice indeed. So we will buy, buy, buy. And now, are we out of money or did we buy them all? And we bought them all. Fantastic. So there we go. Um, let's have a look at the stats here now. So turnover is really high. Uh, there's nothing we could do about that at the moment. Or maybe, maybe we could uh, try and improve working conditions. So let's move our CEO over to working conditions to try and tackle the uh, staff turnover problem that we've got because of the racial harassment. Um, sad times indeed. Uh, oh, it looks like there's an accident as well. That's why the that's why the price went so low. Does that mean we're going to go bankrupt? Let's have a look. Uh, five million reserve. So no, we're definitely not going bankrupt. We just cut the number of workers. Uh, let's uh, let's join the trust as well. Very good. And also into the cartel. So let's just check that. Ten point nine mil. And then we join the cartel. Ba boom still no exposure risk which is nice uh, but that's 27.5 mil so a big old jump for us there uh, so let's have a look at the companies that we've currently got we've got a lot of them uh, we don't have this bank yet 
and we still have quite a few shares to to uh, buy in artist oil so uh, it still is one that we have to go after but that's going to take us a bit of time and a bit of effort because it's a big old company <laughs> and uh, we've uh, we're, we're currently a, a bit far away from being able to do it um, we are making more money I, I guess I could maybe buy it all from Stonefaller here uh, Stonefaller Trust PA1 there is 315 mil in reserve and I think yeah, that almost covers the entire um, uh, market cap of artist oil. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I would like to. I would like to buy it personally if I can. It will take me a bit longer that way. But what I'm hoping to do is get all of these oil companies together, then go to another state. Uh, another state. Uh, down here <laughs> go to another state with a, a relatively cheap oil company buy that one up start the uh, join that to the trust and once the trust has been created in a different state come back merge them all together into one humongous company uh, although Stonefaller Trust PA1 is a massive company it would be an even bigger company uh, and and then use it to buy out all of the oil companies in all of the other states uh, just as a big holding company so that's that's sort of the aim um, before I do that I'm obviously going to go to the auction house again and I'm going to try and buy this wine because why not there we go and look at that we get another collector achievement I've got achievements coming out of the wazoo here six achievements um, well you know what I'm going to spend one on each of these and just get my politics score up and that leaves two achievements left and I will spend those later on when I know what to do with them um, yeah so uh, that's that's sort of the plan uh, in terms of our achievements though we now have 15% uh, so I mean we're getting there <laughs> We're getting there. Fifteen percent of the uh, of the eighty percent that we actually uh, actually need in terms of oil control. Uh, we are a billionaire, and uh, monopolies aren't restricted. So we're doing pretty darn well for ourselves uh, in terms of this uh, this uh, first challenge that's available in the game. So I think with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been great. Uh, do please remember to comment, like, subscribe, all of that wonderful th stuff. Uh, it really helps me to know that you're watching and I'll keep making these videos for you. Uh, but until next time, goodbye.